Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, and today we have to work on a little rocker. Rory Domo said that uh, rocket chairs make him nervous. But our job today is to build a pair of new rockers for this little child's rocket chair. And the cause of the failure is fairly obvious. Even though it probably lasted 40, 50, maybe 60 years. Of course, I don't know when it actually broke. I just think that's how old the rocket chair is. What we have here is a rocker that's barely, well, I think that's seven eighths of an inch wide, not even a full inch. And then it's got a hole through the middle of it. So it's no surprise that that's where it's going to break. And I have a slab that I've glued up from two thinner pieces. It's going to be about a quarter inch thicker. And I think that'll be substantial enough to carry this rocker into the future. Porter Cable Bandsaw is the uh, newest addition to the lab's crew, and uh, I have to say I'm pretty happy with the way it's performed so far. I actually bought it because we get a lot of rocking chairs for repair in here, and I didn't have any kind of machine that could handle that kind of a cut, so it was always a lot more work than it needed to be. And this turns out to be the first rocking chair that is actually being asked to work on. It's important that both rockers be identical, so I clamp them together for the finished sanding. A difference in one rocker from the other will cause a side-to-side -side motion in addition to the rocking, and nobody's really going to like that. The rocking chair rocker is not a full curve. There's a flat spot under the front leg, and it's flat from the rear leg to the tip. This prevents the rocking chair from tipping forward or rolling over backwards. Another thing that nobody's going to like. Now what's more critical than getting the rockers the right shape is getting the holes in the right places. Because you got one here and one here and you really can't move the legs of the rocking chair. So it's got to be in the right place or you're going to be starting all over. The other thing to see is the hole is not uh, in line with the curve, it's in line with gravity. It goes straight down. So you've got to eyeball it to get that line, and that's the way you've got to drill. Now this setup may seem like a bit of overkill, 
for a uh, simple counter bore but when you're trying to run this shape of cutter into a slanted surface there's just no way you're going to keep it straight Well, it's pretty good when the old screw holes line up. Well, this is Ron Zaitz for the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And Rui Domo and I, thank you for sticking through it. Rui still has not gotten over his anxiety over rocking chairs. So, appreciate you watching the video. Please like and subscribe. We'll have another one coming out in about a week. And uh, thank you again.